Laura with Ribbon and Bows Oh My, and today we're going to make a jumbo boutique bow. Now if you've never made a boutique bow, I would say go back and watch a couple of our tutorials, especially the hold and fold boutique bow. But if you've made them before, you're going to love this because you just can't mess up. So we're going to start with our 40 inches of 2 and a quarter grow grain ribbon, and I'm going to match my ends and then flip the top one over. And then trim these guys at an angle. And I'm using fabric scissors because they're super sharp. So we're going to seal our ends. Now the exciting thing about the jumbo two and a quarter bow is that it's pretty much going to look cute every single time. So be brave and go ahead and give this a shot. I think you'll love it. I found that all of my bows have turned out maybe just a little bit different each time, but I've loved each and every bow. So let's get started by matching our ends and then folding about three inches down from the top. This is going to be the tails of the ribbon that we can see on the front of the bow when it's completed. So I'm going to make a crease here and drag my fingernail over so it's really visible. And I'm going to go down to the loop that I've created here at the bottom and do the same thing as a second set of creases. Now the creases aren't structural, they're, they're helping us evenly space our loops when we go to fold our bow. So we're going to go down to that next set of loops, fold it up again, make a third set of creases. And when you unfold your ribbon, you'll see that you should have five evenly spaced creases that are going to help you fold. So we're going to start on the right end of our bow, taking our first crease and folding it right down on top of the crease next to it. Now watch this angle, because this is the angle at which you're going to want to make all of your loop moves. And that's looking really good. Crease right on top of crease. So we're going to do the same thing. In our left hand, we're just going to fold it right over, crease on top of crease, and mirroring that angle that we have on the right side. Now here's the important part. We're going to hold this tight in our left hand, all three layers, and then we're going to send this next crease, we're going to loop them, flip them over so that you're seeing the back side of the ribbon. And we're going to send them under the top two, but above the bottom. And just inside our creases until we just barely touch that ribbon on our left hand. So we want to make sure that this is a pretty wide looking bow right now. Not too much overlap. Now taking our last move, we're just going to flip them right down on top mirroring that same angle. And now look at your bow before you fold. It should be almost like a square. So to fold, we're gonna just crease right there in the middle and send it back. And holding all of our layers in place while we do this, we're gonna accordion fold, first to the left and then to the right. Now the goal is to have all of our peaks and valleys be evenly spaced and even height. You don't have to do this perfectly the first time. So what I like to do is go ahead and wrap a zip tie around the center of my bow. And I want it to be hugging all of my layers, but not super tight. So this way, once I get my zip tie on there, I can kind of pull the center of my bow apart and make creases this way. And I can move it around just a little bit here and there by pinching in the right spots. And this is looking great. So once I've squeezed my zip tie all the way tight, I'm going to take my alligator clip and send them through the back. And then I'm going to trim the excess zip tie with the fingernail clipper. And this is looking awesome so far, so now it's time to make our crease with our 5 8 inch grow I'm just going to do a simple overhand knot, and then I'll probably flip the tail around once he comes all the way through to make sure that the back of my knot is flat. There we go. And now I'm going to glue him down to the front of my bow so that I can make sure he's centered. Just add a little glue to the top of your bow. Place your knot down on top. And then what we'll do is we'll wrap around the back of the bow, opening up our alligator clip, putting a little glue down, and then just placing that excess tail 
right on top. And we'll do the same thing with the top tail. Okay, that's looking so sweet, I love it. And we'll just trim this a little bit of excess. So if you've never made a boutique bow before, this might be a great way to start. You'll have so much fun with it. It looks great every time that I've made it and I've loved it. It's big, it's fluffy, it's really cute. And I think it looks so sweet in here. You'll love the peaky loops and just how sweet and fun and big it is. So you can find all of these supplies and so much more at ribbonandbowsohmy.com. And thank you guys so much for watching.